Praise the Lord, everybody. Give God praise you today. We're going to worship the be praised, all right? Amen. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, who the Lord has redeemed from the hands of the enemy. We come and lift up the name of the Lord today, for he said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Amen. 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 We just come to worship. We come to praise God. For we find that when praises go up, blessings come down. Amen. 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 The Lord is in his holy temple, and all the earth keeps silent before him. For this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. For the psalmist said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. So we in the house today. So let us lift up the name of Jesus. So this time we're going to have the choir come. We're going to open the selection. We're going to ask that you stand to your feet. Sing glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I laid my burden down. Amen. Amen. Confession of our Christian faith, what do we believe? 
I believe in God the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, only Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From then she has come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. 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 Let us now petition the throne of grace. For David said, I will look to the heathen. From which cometh my help. For all of my help comes from the Lord. Father God, here we are one more time. Assemble in this place of worship. First of all, pause in Heavenly Father just to say thank you. We thank you, Father, that you've been mighty, mighty good to us. Matter of fact, as we look around, we can say that you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. And we want to say thank you. Then, Father, while we thank you, Father, we ask that you would forgive us for all of our wrongdoing. For we realize, Father, that we've all sinned and fallen short of your glory. But Father, we thank you, Father, because you continue to look beyond our faults. And you continue to see our needs. But Father, it's not because we've been so good. Neither because we've been so kind. Neither because we kept your word so well. But we realize, Father, it's because of your grace. And because of your mercy. So we say thank you, Father. And then, Father, we stand this morning asking you, Father, to bless those that are sick and shut in. Those that have a desire to be in this place today. But because of their condition, they weren't able to be here. But, Father, we know that you are everywhere. We know that you're a doctor in a sick room. We know, Father, that you can heal whatever ailment that we may have. So, Father, we just ask that you will bless right now. Then, Father, we pray for those that are going through bereavement at this time. Comfort them in times such as these. Then, Father, we ask blessings upon every church that stands open in your name. For we know, Father, that you said one day you're coming back looking for a church yes. without spot or wrinkle. Help us, Father, to be there for me. Yes. For we know that you are soon to come. Yes. Yes. Now, Father, we ask that you would just have your way in this place today. Whatsoever, Father, you see that we need, we ask that you would supply. Yes. We ask that you would bless the choir, bless the musicians, and bless all of those that sit in the sound of my weak voice. We thank you in advance for what your Holy Spirit is going to do in this place. For we realize, Father, that it's not about us, but it's all about you. We say thank you right now. We say thank you right now. We say thank you right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen.
this morning in 1977. I came through at the age of 12 years old, right at, at Jackson Chapel. I don't know about you, but I never shall forget that day. And then in 1988, some 11 years later, I preached my first sermon in this very church. Then in 2020, came back and became pastor of the very church where it all began. I wish you could have been there. Oh, I wish I had somebody to do that. Yeah. Amen. Okay. Somebody remember that day. Yeah. Somebody remember the day when you came through. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I can remember going down that little pathway. Wasn't worried about no snakes. <laughs> down the big man's creek. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Ain't no telling what was out there. But we kept on going. Because God was there. Is that right? Amen. Amen. And you know it's funny that all of those things that we can remember, when we go out there now, you can't even find the most of it. It's all, the path ain't no longer there. You can't even tell there used to be a walkway down through there. But God. So we thank God today. Showers of blessings. Yeah. Showers of blessings. Yes. If you ain't had none, I mean, you can't tell nobody. But if you had some blessings, Amen. you don't mind letting somebody know about it. Is that right? Amen. 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 We, we want to read a passage of scripture now. It calls for the, the Old Testament scripture first. And from the 102nd division of Psalms, Psalms 102, it says sometimes we can be overwhelmed. And this psalm here talks about him being overwhelmed. But it says this. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come unto thee. Hide not thy face from me in the day when I am in trouble. Incline thy ear unto me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. For my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burned as in hurt. My heart is smitten and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. By reason of the voice of my groaning, my bones cleave to my skin. I'm like a pelican of the wilderness. I'm like an owl of the desert. I watch and am as a sparrow alone upon the housetop. My enemies reproach me all the day, and they that are mad against me are sworn against me, for I have eaten like ashes like bread, and mingled my drink and weeping, because of thine indignations and thy wrath. For thou hast lifted me up and cast me down. My day are like a shadow that declined, and I am withered like grass. But thou, O Lord, shalt endure forever, and thy remembrance unto all generations. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion, for the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. For thy servants take pleasure in her stones and favor the dust thereof. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord 
and all the kings of the earth thy glory. When the Lord shall build up thine, he shall appear in his full glory. He will regard the prayer of destitute and not despise their prayer. May God bless his word. For this is God's word for God's people. And the people of God say it. Amen. 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 For our New Testament scripture, we ask you if you would turn your attention to the 10th chapter of the book of Romans. Romans chapter 10. Beginning at verse number 1. And we finally please acknowledge that I say amen. The scripture reads, Brethren, my heart desire and prayer to God for his will is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. For Moses described the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on the wise. Say not in thy own heart, who shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above. Or who shall descend into the deep, that is to bring up Christ again from the dead? But what saith it? The word is not thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith that which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with the mouth, thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, then thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever, for whosoever, for whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. May God bless his word. But this is God's word for God's people. And the people of God say, Amen. Amen. So this time, we're going to prepare our hearts and our minds for giving as we prepare to give unto God a portion of what he has given unto us. The Bible says so that your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. For the Lord loves a cheerful people. For remember the words of the Lord when he said that it is more blessed to give than to receive. And no matter how much we give, we can't be God's will, no matter how we try.
Father, we thank you now for this offering that has been lifted. We ask, Heavenly Father, that you bless every hand that gave. And bless those, Father, that didn't have it to give. Oh, Father, we know that every good and perfect gift comes from above. So we thank you for enabling us to be able to give a portion of what you have given to us. So we ask that you would bless it now. Make it, Father, what you would have it to be. We give you thanks for right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
gonna be all right. See, that is a personal testimony. Because in order to make it to the city, you gotta prepare to go to the city. Is that right? And if you're ready to go, when that time comes, it's gonna be all right. Amen. Let's give God some praise. For we know he's, he's worthy to be praised. Amen. When I make it to the city, it's going to be all right. Let's pray. Father God, we come once again to stand behind this sacred desk. To proclaim a never dying gospel to an ever dying world. Father, I pray now that, that you will give me your peace and power. For I realize I can't do anything until you come. Strengthen me now. Yes. That I be able, that I may be able to stand boldly in your name. That I may deliver your word. Because I realize, Father, that it's not about me, but it's all about you. I pray now, Father, that you would touch the hearts of these your people. That they may receive your word and write it upon the tables of their hearts. Yes. That they may be transformed. <coughs> that their minds will be renewed. Oh, Father, we know that you can. So we just asking you to have your way right now. that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. For you, Lord, are our strength. You are our redeemer. In Jesus' name, they say it. Amen. 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 We give honor to God today, to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit for they all work together as one. We give honor to the ministers that are here today and those that are absent. We give honor to all of the authors and members and friends and visitors. We're so glad for all of us to be here in this place today. For as the songwriter said, that it's another day's journey. And we ought to be glad about it. Amen. Amen. We want you today. We're not going to a long time from the 16th division of Psalms. Psalm 16. Psalm 16, and we will be reading it in its entirety. 11 verses of Psalm 16. When you're found it, please acknowledge it by saying amen. amen. Psalm 16. Scripture reads, Preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord, my goodness extended not to thee. But to the saints that are in the earth, and to the excellent in whom all is all my delight, their sorrow shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. 
Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is the portion of my inheritance, and of my cup thou manifest my lot. Or they, thou maintainest my lot. My, I'm sorry. The lines are fallen to me in pleasant places, yea, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My reigns also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in hope. But thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. Mm -hmm. Thou wilt show me the path of life, and thy presence the fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. God's word for God's people. And the people of God said, Amen. <clears throat> Earlier, I took a slight stroll back down memory lane. And in keeping with that, I reminded a long time ago there was a commercial ran that a lot of you probably not old enough to remember. But this commercial advertised Rolex. And in that commercial, it asked the question, how do you spell relief? <laughs> Am I right? That's right. That's right. Remember that. <laughs> And the response would be R-O-L-A-I-D-S. Now we know that don't, that does not spare relief. But they felt that whatever was ailing at that time, Rolex was the relief. The emphasis is on getting relief from whatever bogged you down. Mm -hmm. Everywhere we look in this world, there is someone suffering from something and are in dire need of relief. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So, if we could talk to you today for just a few moments, we want to ask the question to you, how do you spell relief? How do you spell relief? Now, we can look back for a few years and we find that the government at times provides temporary relief. Doctors sometimes provide temporary relief. Sometimes talking to our friends or confiding in our friends or venting to them adds temporary relief. Sometimes drugs, alcohol, Small checks, girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands, wives, or just a mere friend provide temporary relief. We find ourselves looking for something, but everything that we find that is worldly 
is only a temporary relief. Is that right? Jobs come and jobs go. Uh, all of these things are temporary. Everything around us that we see is changing. But what I found is that we are constantly looking for something that is constant and consistent. We can look back a few years ago there were major struggles. And the government said, well, how can we spell relief? And it didn't start with an R. It was spelled S-T-I-M-U-L-U-S. Am I right? Stimulus was how it was spelled. And, and everybody grabs hold to the stimulus and they found themselves looking for that stimulus package. Because they were in dire need of some relief. But lo and behold, they found that after a couple of years, that that package was gone. But yet they still was in need of relief. See, in Ephesians 6 and 12, it says that these things that we deal with are not physical, but they are spiritual warfare, and we don't understand that in order for us to be able to get the right relief, we have to understand that we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. But we're wrestling against rules, against uh, authorities, against the power of the dark uh, world, and against the spiritual forces and e even evil in heavenly places. So how? Do you spell relief? The text shows that the psalmist was asking God to preserve his people. Because too often we feel that we can do self-preservation. Do I need to say that again? We think that we can preserve our own selves by tapping into the wrong sources. Because these sources we tap into are only temporary. Or what a songwriter said it like this, this too shall pass. Don't matter how much you make, that too shall pass. No matter, oh, let me, I, I, I might not want to say this, no matter how good you think you look, this too <laughs> shall pass. No matter how good you think your walk is, how pretty your hair might be, this too shall pass. These things are temporary. But we have a tendency to want to hold on to the things that are not going to last. But, but listen at what the psalmist said. Oh my soul that thou said unto the Lord that thou art my Lord my goodness extended not to thee. He said the Lord is the portion of my inheritance. In other words Everything that I got come from the Lord. No matter what it is that I may have, it comes from the Lord. And Job said it. He, he, he put it plain. He said, the Lord give it, and the Lord take away. But I like this part. This, uh, and, it, and it doesn't say it exactly like this, but even though the Lord gives it, the Lord takes it away, guess what? He's able 
to give it to you again. That's right. See, you may not never get another stimulus, but you can always call on the name of the Lord. The text shows that God preserves his people. Look at what I remember. The doctors used to say, take two aspirin and call me in the morning. Or somebody used to say, an apple a day, keep the doctor away. Now, if you believe that, there'll be a whole lot of healthy folk. But these are things that we heard because we were looking for temporary fixes. We may have thought that they were permanent. We may have thought that they were real. We may have thought that they were going to last always. But, but I stopped by to tell you that only God is able to sustain you because he is the very present help in a time of trouble. So I came to the conclusion that the old stimulus is a thing of the past. It brought temporary financial relief. It even brought temporary emotional relief. It even brought temporary stress relief. For every different type of people, it brought different signs of relief, but to everybody, it was still temporary. Yeah. Though this may come as a surprise to you, as children of God, it behooves us to remember where our real help comes from. For David said, all of my help comes from the Lord. We can always be assured of God's faithfulness. God has always been our help in time past, and he is always our hope for the future. Amen. God gives us relief in the form of his son, Jesus Christ. He provided us with extended benefits Amen. that would only come through calling on him. For the Bible says that if we ask, it shall be given. So if we seek, we shall find if we knock it shall be open unto us. The Bible says that he's able to give us blessings that will overflow. In Malachi chapter 3 verse 10 it said, prove me. Now say the Lord of hosts. If I see you if I would not open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. If you trust God, Amen. if you believe in God, if you know that God is your all in all, you know how to spell relief. Right. Yes. If you need to be blessed, Malachi 3 and 12 says that all nations will call you blessed. You'll be blessed and you're going in. You'll be blessed and you're going out. You'll be blessed in the way that you walk. You'll be blessed in the way that you talk. You'll be blessed in the way that you act. Because if you know how to spare relief, you can tell somebody it's J-E-S-U-S. Romans can say what they want. Yeah, pep talk can say what it wants. Right. But the way that we spell relief is 
is J E S U S. Jesus. Will somebody say, well, what are these words? Well, I'm glad she asked. In Psalms 37 and 25, David said, I was young, but now I'm old. Yet, I have never seen the righteous forsaken, yeah. nor his seed begging bread. How do you spell relief? Well, I looked at Jack. Jesus. J stands for joy. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. Then I looked at the E. And I came up with excellence. Oh, how excellent is his name. In all the earth. Then I looked at the X, a stabilizer, a very present help in a time of trouble. When my enemies came up against me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and they fell. Then I looked at the U, and I came up but unmovable. Well. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand. Right. All other ground is sinking sand. Right. Then the last S, I came up with Savior. For without the shed of blood, there will be no remission of sins. Well. Mm. So how do you spell relief? Well, I spell it in the name of Mary Baby. Right. J E S U S. Right. I got better in the name of Jesus, which is God only Son. It's still spelled J E S U S. Because the only time that I can get relief from heartache is when I call on the name of Jesus. The only time uh, I can get relief from being talked about, I have to call on Jesus. Sometimes the doctor's medicine uh, won't do no good, uh, but I call uh, on the name uh, that's above every name. Uh, ain't going all right. Uh, I'm not talking about Pepto. Uh, I'm not talking about Rolex. I'm not talking about apple salsa. I'm not talking about bad aspirin. But I'm talking about the name of Jesus. Ain't going on right. But the word tells me what can separate us from the love of God. Ain't going on right. Ain't it all right. Then it comes back and Paul says, nothing. Nobody, nowhere, nothing been made, nothing that's going to be made can separate us from the love of God. Yes, y'all, you may have temporary fixes, you may have temporary answers, you may have all of this relief, and you may go keep on working, but hey, they come and go, huh? Two days, huh? they come and go, huh? Heartache, huh? they come and go, huh? But when you know the Lord, huh? He's always gonna be right there, huh? Ain't going all right, huh? How do you, huh? Spare the leave, huh? Don't fool me now, huh? How do you, huh? Spare the leave, huh? I call it Jesus, huh? The little other man. Yeah.
Because God is our all in all. Amen. There's no substitute. There's no substitute for the law. The door of the church open. The door of the church open. I ask that you stand to your feet. And as we open the door, we extend to you now the invitation. I appreciate the discipleship. And as we extend this invitation, I want us to search our hearts. I want us to look and see if we don't have the right relationship with God. If we don't know who He is, if we not looking to God as the author and the finish of our faith, and we're not looking to Him for relief, then we're looking in all the wrong places. So there be one today that ready to make your decision, you ready to give your life to Christ. And this is the time. There's no time like the present. We never know when our opportunity
how do you spare relief? And you need to know for yourself. Because we we not we not here by circumstance or chance. We are here because God has blessed us. God has brought us from a mighty 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 long way. You see, I can, I can identify because I know that I could have been gone a long time ago. Amen. I've been written off two times, but but God, you gotta know where your relief comes from. Yeah, I just came from the doctor this past week. And he, all he could say was that everything is still good. Yes, Amen. Amen. He, he reminded me of where I was. But I knew God had already told me where I am. And I already know where I'm going. Yes, because Amen. I know how to spare relief. Amen. 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 So you got to know for yourself. Yeah. We thank God today for all of you and we so glad to to uh, see all of you here today so this time we want to acknowledge and recognize any guests that we may have so we have any guests here that may want to have a word to say we want to give you the opportunity to stand and just say a word to us anybody well everybody looking at me <laughs> Well, we know we know you ain't gonna do it. Hey, Amen. You're not a guest. I tell you what, I'm not a guest. I'm, I'm just absent from here. <laughs> but uh, I thank God for being here today. I thank God for how He blessed me. We're talking about how He blessed. I've had cancer three times. Surgery three times. Thank God healed me. No cancer nowhere. Hadn't been for me. And I just like this is my brother-in-law. That's my wife's sister's husband. He's from Cleveland, from Atlanta. Been in Cleveland so long, I keep saying Cleveland. <laughs> but he's from Atlanta, Georgia now. Amen. And uh, that's my first great granddaughter, right there. Oh wow! Amen. And her boo. <laughs> <laughs> <Her> boo. <laughs> Everybody know the love of my life. Talking about looking back, uh, uh, reminiscing. Mm -hmm. Every time I come in here, I have to I reminisce. Do you know these lights been here <laughs> forty some years <laughs> and still look good? <laughs> I'm telling you, the church looks it, it, it's, it's gorgeous. Amen. This church is gorgeous, Amen. and I, I, I'm so glad. <laughs> To see everybody here. I see Aunt Kate, I, you know, I've been knowing Aunt Kate all my life almost. I tell you. But that Robert, but everybody, all my folks. I got more people here than you really know. <laughs> <laughs> all of these people here, most of is my relative. Most of them. And I'm just glad to be here. And we're glad to have. Now, my son in law, you, somebody may have been looking when they took up collection. His son, my nephew, he's at the house now. He's under the well a little bit. You know, really didn't feel good this morning. But he gave him the collection for all of us. That's the reason you didn't see any of us doing it. Just, <laughs> just one of them. <laughs> but I tell you, it's been a pleasure to be here. I've enjoyed everything. And I know this won't be the last time if God permit me to come back again. Amen. Thank you. Always good to see you. Uncle Julian and Doris. Amen. Amen. Remember those, you still got fruit trees behind the house? You still got some fruit trees back behind the house? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Amen. Amen. Always good to, to know where you come from. Amen. 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 So we're delighted to have y'all here today. And, uh, we're so glad that you came to be with us here at the chapel. Amen. 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 So this time we want to recognize any birthdays. Any birthdays. Yes, sir. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Amen. 
Uh oh, my, that's how you. That was the 14th. The 14th. Uh -huh. Amen. That's somebody here now. <laughs> that Who was else? the 11th. The 11th? Yes, Jane was the 11th. Anybody else celebrate birthday? Pastor? Yes. Yes.
to our Heavenly Father, to he that sits high and looks low, to he who is able to keep us all from falling, and who will present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceedingly great joy, to the all wise God, be glory, honor, dominion, and power, now, henceforth, and forevermore, let us all sing together. you have enjoyed our service with Pastor David T. Young, and we'll see you next week at the same time. May God bless you.